Welcome, my fellow RimWorld enthusiasts. I am your host, Chief Nug, and today we will be talking about the new RimWorld mod, Open World Server. This mod allows you to share a RimWorld planet with your friends over a server. So today we are going to be covering how to set up a server for free and how to connect to it. Throughout this tutorial, we are going to need a few different things. You will need to download a few required RimWorld mods, and you will need to download any of the mods you and your friends would like to use on the server. You will need 7-zip, or an equivalent utility to open .7z files. You will need FileZilla, or an equivalent FTP utility, but I will be specifically covering how to use FileZilla in this tutorial. You will need to download the open world server files from the ModMakers GitHub. For now, I recommend downloading both the Windows and Linux zips, even though we are setting up a Linux server. And lastly, you will need an Amazon Developer account for Amazon Web Services that is eligible for the free tiers. Most new dev accounts qualify. First, we will go over how to download RimWorld mods and then get each mod's mod folder. If you already know how to do this or can get the updated mod files, skip this section. To get the mods we want, go to the Steam community page for RimWorld, and the mods we need are Harmony, Hugslib, and Open World. So navigate to these mod pages and subscribe to them, or log in to Steam in your browser and click the links in the description. Once you are subscribed to the mods you need and want, Steam downloads the mods to the Steam directory where RimWorld is installed. If this is your first time downloading mods, you can just grab all of the mod folders from this directory. If you are like me and have tons of mods, but only want to use some of them for the server, then you will need to go through each mod folder to figure out which is which by checking their about file, and then only grabbing those folders. Simply open each mod folder, Navigate to the About folder and open the About file to then see the name of the mod. Once you have all the mods together, copy them to a separate folder that we will be using later. Next up, we will be downloading 7-zip and FileZilla. If you already have them or equivalent tools, skip to the next section. 7-zip is a common compression utility like WinZip and WinRAR, which we will need to unpack the open world server files. Download and install 7-zip, the link is in the description. Next up is FileZilla, which is a common FTP utility that we will use to upload the server files. Download and install FileZilla, the link is in the description. In the same place you made the temporary mods folder, make a new folder called Windows and another one called Linux. Go to the Open World Server GitHub, link in the description, and navigate to the releases page found on the right of the page. Download the Windows Server zip file to the Windows folder we just made. Then download the Linux Server zip file to the Linux folder we just made. Now go to the Windows folder, right click the zip file, and select Extract Here. Do the same thing in the Linux folder to the Linux zip file. Once everything is extracted, go to the Windows folder and cut the World Settings file, Server Settings file, Logs folder, Mods folder, Player folder, and Whitelisted Mods folder, and then paste them back in the Linux folder. Now you can delete the Windows folder from before because we don't need it anymore. Next, go to the Temporary Mods folder we made before, cut everything inside, and paste it in the mods folder we just added to the Linux folder. Next up, we will need to set up the Amazon Developer account. Use the link in the description to go to the AWS Developer page. Either make a new account or sign into your existing account as long as it has access to the AWS free tier or you don't mind paying to set up a new instance. Once you are logged in to the AWS console, you will be at the dashboard. For the sake of this tutorial, we will be doing a bare-bones setup of the open-world server. But if you'll be using this long-term, 
or publicly, then I highly recommend you use a follow-up tutorial to make sure your AWS instance is more secure. At the top of the screen, use the search to look for EC2. Once on the new EC2 experience, look to the bar on the left and click the Instances button. Then, in the top right, click the bright orange Launch Instances button. For the sake of this tutorial, we will be selecting only free tier eligible products. So select the first option, Amazon Linux 2 AMI with the 64-bit x86 option. On the next page, we will be selecting the T2 Micro that is also on the free tier. Click through the next few pages until you get to the review and launch option. Click that button and you will be presented with a pop-up for creating a key pair. Name it whatever you want, download it to some place you'll remember, then click the launch instance button. Once you are back at the instances console, wait until the instance switches from pending to running. You may need to refresh a few times. When your instance is finally running, Click on the Instance ID towards the bottom of the screen. There are a number of tabs. Click the Security tab, then click the link under Security Groups. Scroll to the bottom to the Inbound Rules section, then select Inbound Rules. For the sake of this tutorial, we will be adding two rules. So click on the Add Rule button. For the type, select Custom TCP, put 25555 into the port range, select custom for the source, then in the search box select 0.0.0.0/0 as seen. Click the add rule button again and fill out the same information except for custom UDP as the type. When you're done, it should look like this. When you're done adding rules, return to the instances screen. Now we will be setting up the server instance to run Open World Server. Go ahead and select your instance again, but this time use the connect button in the top right of the screen. This will open a page as seen on screen with another connect button. Clicking this button will open a new tab that gives you access to the Linux server console. You will return here anytime the server restarts, but for now, we will mostly be setting up .NET 6.0. For everything to work, we will need to install the .NET 6.0 framework from Microsoft. Navigate over to the Amazon Linux console tab and run these commands, which can be found in the description. The first four commands will set up and install .NET the following command will verify that it is working, and these two commands will be used in order to make sure that when the server restarts, you will still be able to run .NET commands without having to set anything else up. Navigate to the Linux folder we made before with all the open world server files. Open the server settings file. Change the server name and server description as you see fit. Set the server local IP to the private IPv4 address from your instance screen. Set the server port to 25555. And set the use royalty and use ideology to true if you will be using either DLC. Save the changes and close the file. You can also take a moment to adjust the world settings file as you see fit. This file is how you will change the seed and other settings related to that. Now it is time to set up FileZilla and upload the server files. We will need to use some info from the Amazon instance screen. So on the other AWS tab, go back to the instances screen again and select your instance. 
The public IPv4 address is the one that changes every time the server restarts, but it is also the IP that you and your friends will use to connect to the server, so keep that in mind. The private IPv4 address we will need for our server settings file, and the public IPv4 is what we will need for FileZilla. Go to the top left, select File, and then select Site Manager. In the General tab, change the protocol to SFTP, copy the public IPv4 DNS from your instance screen into the host, then for logon type, select Key File, and use the Browse button to load the key we made earlier when setting up the EC2 instance. On the left are files on your computer, and on the right are files on the server. On the left, navigate to the Linux folder we've been making, open it, select everything, right-click, and select Upload. Then, while we wait for the upload, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Once the upload is complete, you can close FileZilla you will only need it again if you want to change server settings or mods. Go back to the AWS console tab, run the ls command to see all the new files. Then use .NET openworldserver.dll to launch the server. Command can be found in the description. You will be able to test the connection by opening RimWorld and using the Open World mod to join a multiplayer session and fill in your server info. Use the public IPv4 address from your instance tab and port 25555. Leave a comment to let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.